So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to do FlexView in Reaper. So I'm going to recap on FlexView and Logic. So I'm going to load up Logic. And go File, New. I'm just going to record audio through a built-in microphone. So now I've built-in microphone, I'm going to record me saying some words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So to enable FlexView and Logic, what you need to do is you need to click on FlexView over here. And now I'm going to enable FlexView by clicking this. Then I'm going to zoom in, command and cursor keys, and I'm going to change to the slicing. What slicing does is it allows me to move these audio regions without cutting them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a placeholder here and one over here. A placeholder stops it from moving back and forth. So if I click on here and move it, it won't move any of this. If I delete this by double clicking, all that content moves. Now to do this Reaper, I'm going to let it Reaper really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record Reaper, double click, and click on here. Also click on input monitoring so I can have listen through my headphones. So I'm going to record the same stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this up. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to press S. And I can zoom in on here. So I'll zoom in. So I want to press S. To do the same thing in Reaper, what you need to do is you need to hold down the option key. The option, option key will stretch it back and forth on here. So you can sort of move it across. So wherever you slice will be similar to like a placeholder in Logic 10. So you can stretch the audio files. That's it. 